right, I'm back at landscape. Let's see if somebody's here. No. Because it's allegedly 3 o'clock in the morning. But we came from an hour over their time zone. It's pretty warm, but I still want my jacket. So, uh, what was I going to talk about? Do you remember? Um, I'm going to stay an extra day here because there's a storm coming up there. And also, we, we, uh, I, bought some, I bought a jacket. It was worked out great. But part of the idea is we were going to fly straight to Massachusetts or something. And I was like, fly there, have no car in Hawaiian clothes in our luggage. Doesn't make sense. It's colder over there, man. Um, no real reason to go over there. I think I'm gonna go back where it's a little warmer. Um, oh, I didn't bring the car keys, otherwise I could get my warmer jacket. I bought, one of the reasons to come was because this way was because we could gear up a little bit. So, uh, I did gear up today. Got a jacket. And it was on clearance because spring is coming in the south. In uh, Georgia, I think it was in Georgia. Um, some big store I'd never heard of. And they had uh, <laughs> and they had um, it's a little it's a little cold. <laughs> but this is my this is still my Hawaii jacket, right? Um, and I'm wearing flip flops because it was pretty warm today. So can't do that much more. It was cold in the. Uh, you know, in the, um, at night, it was all frozen, way sub-zero up there in the Grand Canyon and stuff. So don't worry. I'm prepared. I like it. <laughs> okay, anyway, what was I talking about? Um, it was not important. But, uh, got a $200 jacket for $50. Two of them. They were in clearance, and they look snow. They're Columbia, and uh, they look good. I thought, no, no, mine is Columbia. I forget what my my lovely wife's one is brand wise, but it's looks good, looks warm. So at first I was thinking, yeah, just drive up there. You know, fuck it. I don't care if the snow stops me. Get a hotel at the edge or. And it looks fine up to Virginia, rain. But <clears throat> if you stay put, then you get to sleep in as late as you want, do whatever you want. You get an extra whatever. Here, I think it'd be like three hours, I don't know. But you get the time between check out and check in, or check in and check out, however you look at it. One's a negative number, one's a positive number, but they're the, the same physical quantity. Think about that for a bit, okay. Anyway, um, but even more so, you just get this continuity of a period. And I want to go get a haircut. Um, I'm going to start uh, you know, marketing myself a little better. No, not better. But, you know, I'm going to adjust it to the circumstances. Um, so. It's much better to, uh, you know. I'm too straightforward, basically. I'm too obvious who it is that I am, right? Isn't that what people are always saying? I'm just too clear and straightforward. <laughs> um... Anyway, it's really cold. <laughs> uh, so we're having a good time. My stepson on our Facebook 
my wife's doing all this is doing handstands all over so that, that's fun for the family get lots of feedback on that um, having a lot of ideas of what to do so it's pretty good the south has been interesting we're cruising a little slower did I mention we saw an alligator right there in the wild not like in a zoo or anything and uh, which I've never seen before so what else trying to set myself up so that my software work will all be open source one way or another, you know. <laughs> I think that's the future. I was thinking maybe I should teach programming classes when I get to Lewiston. That'd be fun. You know, even, you know, for a very low fee or even just volunteer but I think you have to charge a little fee f because you need people to show up regular right if it's for free they'll just figure like eh, whatever not this week that's not how it is when you have to be a good student because I'll be a hard teacher because you know I'm being I'm getting more strict about stuff my standards and things I've been letting you guys get off uh, easy in the in the uh, principle, on the principle that, you know, it's, tolerance is how you gather information, right? You want to gather information on crazy people. I'm not saying you're crazy. <laughs> I am. I, you're crazy. Um, but if you want to get information from people like you guys, uh, or crazy people, either one, uh, not that there's any difference, uh, you know, you got to tolerate. And I'm pretty tolerant. I'm naturally tolerant. It's really helped me learn a lot. And I'm still tall. I'm going to be tolerant forever. On the other hand, uh, <laughs> I'm feeling like it's a little bit like time for action. You know what I mean? You got to get a load of what you're dealing with. Um, <laughs> like I said a year and a half ago, you know, the purpose is changing. You know, things progress in their incremental fashions. I'm sure you're familiar with this, this sort of uh, tendency in nature. So, oh, people want me to show where I am. There's the parking lot behind the hotel that I'm in. There's the hotel that I'm in. With my lovely wife and my stepson and my, and my dog. Our dog. She just loves all of us. We're running down the stairs and she's following me running and then she's like, Hey, wait, where, where's your lovely wife? And she waits. She's so sweet, so smart. She, my dog knows what room we're in. She got confused at one hotel because it was kind of confusing, but <laughs> usually like it's, we start walking back and she's like runs up to the door and we go in the elevator and she runs right to the room by smell or sight or something. I think it's by sight because when she got confused at the one place, it was like because they all looked the same, the little places, and she kept thinking we were the door on the, we're the, we're the door on the right. No, not this one. What about this one? The door on the right? No? <laughs> <coughs> all right. Well, I'm having a good time. We're all having a good time, but it's it's not really a vacation vacation because we're we have a lot to do. You know, we have to equip up. We're going somewhere. We have time limits. There's a cat over there. It's always cats, even in the coldest part of Texas. Um, I forget the name of the town near Clovis. No, maybe it was New Mexico. It was cold as hell. Big, bushy, little, tiny, miniature, but bushy fur cat there, of course. Survivors. That's why they allow us to live, is so they can... We help them survive, cats. Even, even feral cats. If only by providing a food source for the rats. That's another one you should think about that. All right. Well, 
Um, I'm sure there'll be a lot more philosophy from Maine, but uh, right now it's just uh, it's just journey, journey, journey. You know, life is a journey. The metaphor is the reality right now at the moment. So that's that's always fun. So I think we're like two thirds through with our driving, something like that. Just another thirty hours or something. Woo woo. All right. Well, you take care now, and uh, don't forget to brush. All right, bye.